came back. So this is chocolate, this is uh, sugar glue. Hopefully it will bind it well enough. I don't know if it will, we'll see. Um, I use it for a lot of things, but not something quite this fragile. So we'll see if it works. Um, but I love it, Joel Mahoney created this. It's called chocolate, oh God, I can't pronounce it. Chocolatier, chocolatier, oh Maya, I can't, I'm sorry. We'll get a real close up, hold, on, hold it real steady, we'll get a real <laughs> a tight shot. Anyway, she's go. a chef, okay. I, th I believe she's in New York or New Jersey, I can't remember exactly where she is. But it's an edible adhesive, it lasts forever, you don't refrigerate it, and it's it, anything that's got sugar in it, it'll glue. So isomalt, chocolate, oh, fondant, cool. anything with sugar in it. Wow. So I really, I love it, I use it a lot. I don't know if it'll work <laughs> for this because it's fragile. Okay. So something else I'm going to need is I'm going to need some fringe at the bottom of this. Some fringe? Yep, some fringe. Like for the, for the tassel part? For the tassel. Well, uh, there's a tassel, there's fringe, and then there's a tassel. Oh, that's two separate things. Yeah, there's two different Fringe and, and a tassel. And this, it doesn't matter what size you make it. So all I did was just take, this is wafer paper or rice paper. This project has everything. It does. We have a little, <laughs> little bit of everything. Fringe and a tassel. Right. Wafer paper, fondant, buttercream, glue. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> this is Gold. edible paper, okay. Well, that's good. And I cut this, sorry, it's five inches by one and a half, okay? And what you're gonna do is tediously cut little tiny pieces. Look at that, little tiny pieces. Handmade They fringe. don't go all the way up. They don't go all the way up to here because you want to have, you know, a strip to hold the little tiny pieces on, okay? Yeah, so, cut, after so cut up to your thumb, but don't cut your thumb, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, about a thumbs width. Okay, so okay. everyone got that all right? Yep, and through the magic of television. Look at that, ta -da. There it is, you didn't want to see me cut that, did you really? Come on. We appreciate that you've done this already. <laughs> yeah, and then I just, you know, played with it a little bit, you know, curled it, you know, so it wasn't quite so stiff, because it's got to look kind of fabric-y. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach it to this guy. So five inches just fits in Excellent. here, like so. Excellent. Okay, and it makes like a fringe. So we will attach that with just a tiny bit of water. Get a brush. Excellent. By the way, Kit Rocket says that Stuco has the edible gold. That would be S-T-U-C-C-U. What is that? S-T-U-C-C-U has the edible gold. I don't know, look oh, it up on the, yeah. on the, on the interwebs. Yep, okay. Stuco. Smooth side is the right side, and then there's a bumpy side, so you want the smooth side here. We just place it on. Look at that. Unfortunately, I just didn't do this one right. I thought I had Tyler's in it, but evidently I didn't. I knew that would bite me. <laughs> it usually does come back okay. to bite you. All right, well. That's okay. You'll have to, it's live. I don't have time to remake another one. Okay, so what I have here is another piece of wafer paper. And this is a two and a half inch cutter and a pencil. And what we're gonna do is draw around the wafer paper. Okay. And cut this out. But you're wondering what I'm doing. What are you doing? Um, you're gonna fold it so the smooth side is out. Just fold it in half. Don't press it, don't crease it, just fold it down. And then you're gonna press in the middle here, in the middle, and then bring these two ends together. So here, and then bring these two ends together. Sometimes it's fussy. God, I got off to the side again. Ah, yeah, I do these perfect every time, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Not on camera. <laughs> Not on no. camera, no, that would be too easy. So they just come together, it's because I'm trying too hard. So they just come together, a little dab of water right Where? here. Paintbrush? Yep. A little dab of water right here so that they'll stick together. Excellent. Okay. I know they're not even. Um, and then you can see here, I did a couple of them. In different colors. In different colors. I had color wafer paper. You know, you can color your wafer paper too by using a spray, um, color spray, or you can dust it with petal dusts, or you can, you know, um, that's, those are the two ways I do it when I color it. You can use shortening in a petal and a gel color, 
oil in a gel will cover any kind of way you want. Just don't use water on wafer paper. That's like bad. Um, Doesn't I just water use, eat? Yeah, it eats it, paper. which is why I have to be very careful when I put it on here to see it's joined together already. Yeah. It's uneven, but it's joined together. Um, so yeah. use very little when you because it, it will eat it away. Yeah, and disintegrate. Yeah, but I actually yeah. put a little bit of gold sheen on this one. I don't know if you can see it. I see gold sheen on that. It's yellow, and then I put a little gold sheen, but you can you can dust them. So there's wafer paper fortune cookies. Fortune cookies you can eat. Excellent. Yeah, <laughs> as opposed to those other fortune cookies that you can also eat. Okay. You don't have to go out and buy fortune cookies. You can just make them. Gotcha. If you have, I have wafer paper around all the time. So anyway, so there's the fortune cookies.